Today, I shall be talking on the gabapentin in chronic pain medicine. Now, we will be talking only the important parts in the pain management. Gabapentin is an anticonvulsant medication which is FDA approved for various pain conditions among which most important are the post hypertic neuralgia, partial seizures and restless leg syndrome. Additionally, gabapentin is used for the neuropathic pain, fibromyalgia, postoperative analgesia, painful diabetic neuropathy, radiculopathy, post-stroke, central pain, etc. Now, if you look at the mechanism of action of gabapentin, though this is starts with the GABA, the term is named with the GABA, GABA but it doesn't work on the GABA receptor, rather it works on the presynaptic alpha 2 D receptors which are actually voltage gated calcium channels increases the activity of the inhibitory neurotransmitters and though there is no direct effect on the other receptors but it has been found that in the descending pathway it also acts by some indirect way and ultimately causing reduction in chronic pain especially it is used for the neuropathic pain conditions now if we come to the dosage of gabapentin usually gabapentin starts with a lower dose. The recommended initial dosing is 300 mg at the bedtime. Then gradually it is increased for the Indian patients. We usually go up to 900 to 1200 mg. But if you see the studies, up to 3600 mg of carbapentin can be given depending on the condition. But remember, we should always give the minimum effective dose of carbapentin. Now, if the patient is taking carbapentin for 8 weeks, but there is no response in the pain, the drugs can gradually be tapered off. Now, regarding the pharmacokinetics of these two medications, that is pregabalin and gabapentin, there is a very important factor is that the drug do not have any metabolism in the body. So what it does, it is absorbed, then it is actually excreted unchanged either in the urine. So, it is very important that in case of patients who are having the chronic kidney disease, the drug needs a dosage reduction. It doesn't have any active metabolites. Adverse effect, the drug though is safe and well tolerated, but the initial common adverse effect what we found is the sleepiness. The patient usually falls sleepy and some patients might complain of headache, some patients might complain of light headache makes. It is well tolerated. Though some are the serious side effects that are actually reported that includes the allergic reactions with this drug and sometimes angioedema might appear. So I think these are the few important points of the gabapentin that we should remember while prescribing these medications.